Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today we are going to talk about the seven factors that will influence the views on your LinkedIn posts and hence um, will influence how many people see you and your visibility. My name is Maureen Kane. I run the Online Breakfast Club and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so you will get updates on any new videos which give you hit, um, hints and tips to improve your LinkedIn online media uh, results. Now, for those who are experienced um, LinkedIners, you will have probably seen in the last couple of months a significant difference in turbulent views that you're getting. But that's because of two things. One, because um, there is a there's quite a few new features that are going to be rolled out on LinkedIn. They're rolling them out as we speak on different platforms, different countries. So that's why um, one person might get great views, one person might get different. They're rolling out to everybody. So sometimes that's just going to impact your views because of testing and changing things. The other factor is there has been some algorithm changes, which is ongoing on any social media platform. And I will address that as we go on to the seven things. So again, let's just dive in straight away to talk about the first of the seven things that will, in that will influence your post. Now, before I do jump on to the first one, I just wanted to show you, let's move my little face. Um, these um, that re good results are still possible. So yes, you may have to change what you're doing slightly, but that's the name of the game in any business and marketing. You have to change and adapt to what's working, what's not. But great results are still possible, which is partly why you should watch all of this video. So these are just um, some posts that I've done in the last couple of weeks for my clients. So this is um, last week, 70,000. That was a multi-page slideshow. 287, it's still growing. I think it's now nearly 300,000. That was a poll, a relevant topical poll. It was National Curry Week. This, um, again, was something to do with what's in the news, and it's 170,000. And I'll just show you some of mine as well. So this is four days ago, 48,000 text only, um, 124,000, a multi-page slideshow, 18,000, a text only, and 86,000 slideshow. So great results are still possible. This is all in the last couple of weeks if you <laughs> change what you're doing. So the first thing, um, yes, I finally got to that, is your profile. So number one thing that will influence your results is your profile. Is it up to date? Is it relevant? Is it interesting? Have you got an all-star LinkedIn profile. If you don't, that will, you'll be classed marked down in the points brigade of LinkedIn. So you won't get full points, which means they don't think you're an active member and they probably won't show your post to as many people as they show to an all-star. So first of all, check your um, LinkedIn profile. Is it all-star? If not, fill in the blanks. It'll tell you what to do. Also, just make sure your about section is relevant to what you're doing right now because you know we all adapt but if it's not relevant and if you don't have your calendar link or whatever it is in how do you expect to get leads so just make sure it's on track to what you are doing right now that's the first thing and the second thing is settings now this might be fairly obvious to people that have been using linkedin for a long time but if you're new to linkedin this again could impact your reach so let me just move my little face again so go to settings and you click on the little face a lot you can edit public profile here but i'll just um there's lots of different settings let's just go so you really need to make sure your public profile is public <laughs> it might sound obvious but uh, you'd be amazed. So visibility. So who can see your post and your profile? If you are wanting to increase your visibility, it wouldn't make sense not to have that tick. So that means you want people to see your profile and you want it to be public. Don't just put it to your first degree connections. That's going to limit your reach. Put it to public. Make sure that your activity, which is your posts, again, and most of these details are clicked. I've taken out a few groups, etc. And so that's the first thing. Make sure that your settings are set to public. The other thing is when you actually create a LinkedIn post, go up to here. So start a post. It is going to 
ask you who do you want to show it to and again mine's pretty much always goes to anyone but if you only put it to connections or group members it is going to limit your reach so make sure your settings are correct before you start posting on LinkedIn And the third thing is connections. The number of connections that you do have will impact who sees your post for obvious reasons. When you actually do a post on LinkedIn, initially they will show it to a percentage of your connections. So if you've only got 500 connections, it's not going to be shown to that many people. Even with the help from the Online Breakfast Club, it's going to increase your reach, but it's not going to do it much. And now LinkedIn has limited it so you can only send 400 invites a month. Every single person on LinkedIn should be doing it to their target audience because, again, if your connections aren't your target audience and you're posting about it, they probably aren't engaged. You need a percentage of your audience engaging and talking to them. So, I mean, the ideal plan for me is to have uh, 30,000 people in two years' time who are all my target audience. So, you know, you're really building up a pipeline of people that you could potentially work with or collaborate or sell to. So... You know, if you've changed jobs, changed careers, you're, you're, a lot of your connections might not be your target audience. So you could potentially spend some time and, and you know, sort that out. But for me, I'm, I'm quite choosy about who I connect to. I don't connect to everybody because, again, I'm very specific on the marketplace that I want and the target audience. So if you are not connecting, you should be connecting to 400 people a month. And I always send a follow-up, which we'll talk about later. And we also, um, on the Online Breakfast Club, offer that as a service. It's £149. We send the invites and we follow up for you. So if you don't have time to do it, get drop me a message. But connections are key. Every single week, send out messages to connect to people. You're constantly getting new people to see your feed. And it's keeping you active. Again, LinkedIn like active people. And they will reward you by showing your posts to more people. The fourth thing is activity. Are you being active on the platform? Are you connecting to people? Are you commenting? Are you liking? And not just in the group, but to other people, to your target audience, people that you might want to work with. Again, if you're just posting and you're not being active on the platform, you're really limiting your reach in that respect. And that will um, result in less people seeing your content and less views. So make sure you are kind of trying to engage with your target audience. Maybe pick five or six people you want to target, start liking and commenting their posts. It's and that that way they will start to see your posts and they might like start to like and comment your posts as well. The fifth thing is engagement. Now, getting engagement in the first three hours, potentially two or three hours, is absolutely crucial to getting the LinkedIn algorithm to work to boost your posts to see other people. And again, if you're a member of the Online Breakfast Club, we certainly help by boosting that post in the first couple of hours to ensure that your post is being shared to the LinkedIn feed. And hence, LinkedIn will um, it will trigger the, the algorithm to say this is a, a post that people are engaging on and it will show it to more people. So that's one aspect and that's um, certainly... Um, still with a new algorithm. The other thing is, just from in terms of social proof, if you're saying you're the world's best business coach and you've got one like and one comment, it doesn't quite add up. So, you know, getting great engagement looks good, but it also helps attract customers to work with you. Us Brits love a queue, don't we? So if there's a queue, if there's lots of people saying how great it is, how good you are, it makes other people have a little bit of FOMO and they want to get in on the action too. And bear in mind that most people will be watching and following you for potentially months, if not a year before they dive in and contact you. So having that looking popular, getting your um, post seen by lots of people does help 100%. And again, these people will start to view your post silently. They probably won't like and comment ever. <laughs> That's just the way it is. So engagement is absolutely key. For the algorithm to look good and you know the first couple of hours are absolutely essential if you've not joined the online breakfast club and you want to get more likes and comments in your posts to help boost it um drop me a message also and 
you know, there's a couple of things that um, I've changed as well. Dwell time, so the amount of time that you look at posts, um, that's important as well because LinkedIn, again, want people to stay on the platform. So think about, is it, an, is it a conversation starter or is it a conversation stopper, which I'll talk about in number six. Number six, we're talking about the style of posts you use on LinkedIn. And let me just move my face. And I'm talking about text. So there's various different styles of posts. You can do a PDF, which is called a document post or a slideshow post, whatever you want to call it. Text only, an image, photograph, um, a GIF, a video. So what's working the best right now with the new algorithm update um, is multi-page slideshows. And, you know, this one, 124,000, I'll take that as doing well. Again, you need to give reasons for people to click, to swipe through. So, again, not just any old slideshow, but um, adding value, giving tips away, it really works well. And that's the same for, where is it? This one as well, so 86, seven things to consider. And again, you want people, the more people click, that gives you more views and it keeps people on the post. So more dwell time as LinkedIn call it. So that's great. So uh, multi-page slideshows, text only posts are doing well as long as the key thing is LinkedIn really want to get away from that really dull, boring corporate. Here's a webinar, come along or here I am, do LinkedIn marketing, come and work with me. So they really want to get away from those direct sales type of posts. And they want to get more into it's more juicy nitty gritty so this is about um dyslexia and i was also homing in what's relevant and what current so you need to home in on what's current and what's relevant but text only with the right topic the right hashtags which is, i've not included will certainly um do well and also polls i hate to say but polls are smashing it right now so polls i would certainly recommend to do one or two polls a week if you post um, five or six times and again keep it generic think about a conversation that anybody can answer to turn it into more of a business post for you the poll can be quite generic but in the body of the text try and actually relate that somewhere along the lines to something that you do. And then it's not just about a random, do you like tea or coffee? It's more about, do you have a choice? Uh, you have a choice about who you work with, blah, blah, blah. And this is what I do and you have a choice. This is why you should choose me. So for example, so polls, text only and multi-page slideshows are the three top performing um, posts in terms of views. Videos, um, have actually increased a little bit, so they're doing slightly better, but they're not going to do amazing on views. But videos are great for engagement and also showing yourself. So ideally, if you want to do videos, still do that once a week on top of your slideshow and um, polls. And for me, the two top performing are slideshow and polls, but you know, it might vary. But GIFs, images, I mean, images, one page PDFs are not doing anywhere near as well at all. So if you want to want to do the, the best performing, use those, I hope that makes sense. And number seven is the context of the post. I touched on this in number six, but again, LinkedIn is trying to get away from the more corporate messages. It makes it challenges if you're challenging if you are trying to promote yourself. You need to look at um, creating more engaging content, content that sparks a conversation, content that isn't just about you. It's about helping people, it's about talking about other people, it's about engaging, funny, exciting, interesting. So LinkedIn and the new algorithm change are pushing us to create better content, content that will help people stay in the platform. And if you get it right, it will help increase your views. So try and maybe, it's not even just being personal. And this week, I'm trying personally to get do some non-business type posts. So I've got one about dyslexia, home in and what's around, National Curry Week. And again, you don't need to jump on every national day, but for example, it's cancer awareness day. There's all things we can relate to. Look at see what's happening on the news. Try and make it topical because the con, I talked about um, something very personal for me there. Didn't do amazing on views, um, but you know, dyslexia, this, this is because, and also the context, use the hashtags. I use dyslexia there. So context, is it, is it negative? Is it positive? The algorithm will assess your post in the first 
minute or two. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it abusive? Is it rude? Is it controversial? And gauge with that, plus the engagement you get in the first couple of hours, they will decide, is it spam? Spam, they would class as, I'm doing this by my stuff, so very salesy post, or is it a conversation starter? Now, that's why I always say, ask a question. It's not because I want to make it easy for the online breakfast club to answer. I mean, social media is a, it's called social media. It's about having a conversation. And the more you can keep people on your post chatting, having little discussions in the, um, the comments, that's amazing for LinkedIn. They love it. Your post will start. And if it's quite controversial, um, number one, not everybody's going to answer because not people like to answer. But if you can spark some argy bargy in the comments, your post is going to go crazy. So don't be disheartened if you get a negative um, comment because not everybody's going to agree with you. It's not all bad. But I'm not saying put your heart and soul on every single post, but certainly opening up, adding value, giving tips. I mean, every single week I will do a post about you know, here's some tips and this very video will be will be probably a post on LinkedIn. It's adding value. And what you're doing with that is, it, is you're really positioning yourself as a thought leader and adding credibility to what you do. It doesn't make people not want to work with you. It makes you want to work with you. And the eighth thing, which um, I'm not going to do a separate one on, is hashtags. So hashtags have changed slightly. I've been using more UK focused ones. Um Again, use ones that are relevant, so create a future in startups, leadership. I've moved away from innovation, technology. So just if there's anything going on in the news, try and kind of home in on that and make it relative. Um, and again, try and swing it into what you do. There's always ways you can tie what you're doing with um, the post. But ultimately, try and make it interesting. If you're not excited by your posts, who else is going to be? And yes, the Online Breakfast Club does offer a managed service that includes at least three posts a week. We create them for you based on your stories. We'll take your stories and we'll then create posts um, using our winning formula that I'm talking about here. And we also connect for you. So, you know, if you want to talk about doing us doing all of you for a couple of months to get you going, to get you started, certainly drop me a mail. But thank you so much for watching. And do subscribe so that you get notified of any future videos. Thank you.